Today, Missouri lawmakers held another hearing on critical race theory in the classroom. Now, the first hearing didn't include a single person of color, and that led to some criticism. KCTV5's Abby Dodge was in Jefferson City for today's hearing. The chairperson for the Joint Committee on Education started off today's hearing by saying they aren't currently drafting any legislation on critical race theory or the 1619 project. Legislators asked for testimony from people of the Jewish faith, former educators, and people who conduct diversity training. We didn't hear from anyone in the state who actually teaches it themselves. Before coming to the Capitol, we sat down with someone who has, UMKC Associate Professor of English, Antonio Bird. Critical race theory, um, in its original idea, is thinking about institutional racism and the law. And then when it expanded out to other areas in academia, we were thinking about how does race play out um, in those areas, such as in education. Senator Mike Serpoy says these hearings are a distraction from improving the educational system. But what I wish we were doing is instead of teaching this, is doubling down on math and English language and, and those, those classes that will help them in college, help them in, in trades. Representative Ingrid Burnett says there's little to gain from these statewide hearings besides political points. They're playing to a certain base of people. Several Missourians we heard from today advocated to trust teachers on the local level without added legislation. The reality for a lot of our kids, we're not going to get anywhere with them. We're not going to be able to teach them anything if we can't make connection with them because you can accomplish what you guys are identifying without the trappings of critical race theory being incorporated into it. So for them to be speaking to those students where they are at is not an unreasonable thing to do to reach those students. The timing of this hearing was not lost on the people inside of that committee hearing room. As many legislators discussed what might potentially be included in school curriculums, many students are headed back to school today. In Jefferson City, Abby Dodge, KC, TV5 News.